Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche Design. In this video, you're going to learn how to create a color wheel in Adobe Photoshop. Let's start by clicking on the new file button. For width and height, I'm going to select 2000. And for resolution, I'm going to select 300. Click create when done. Next, click on view from the top menu and choose new guide layout. Make sure both columns and rows are checked with a value of 2 each. Then click OK. Select the elliptical marquee tool from the tools panel and while holding the option and the shift key, click and drag in the center towards the outer edges to draw a circle. The circle selection should snap to the edges as you get closer if you have snap selected from the view dropdown. Next, click on the gradient tool in the tools panel and make sure angle gradient is selected in the options bar. From the gradient dropdown, choose foreground to background. To open the gradient editor, click inside the gradient bar. In this gradient bar, we're going to have a total of seven stops. To change the color of the first stop, double click on it. The first stop will be red, which has an RGB value of 255, 0, 0. Click under the bar to create the next stop. Change the location to 16 and then double click on the stop to change the color. For yellow, enter the RGB values of 255, 255, 0. The third stop will be at the location of 32 with color green and the RGB values of 0, 255, 0. The fourth stop will be at the location of 48 and for the color cyan, the RGB values will be 0, 255, 255. The fifth stop will be at the location 65 and for the color blue, the RGB values will be 0, 0, 255. The next stop will be at the location 82 and for magenta, the RGB values will be 255, 0, 255. Since the color wheel is a circle, the last stop will be the same as the first stop, which is red. Click OK when done. Now click inside the center point and draw a gradient line towards the outer edge. This should result in a gradient color wheel. To deselect the current selection, click on select from the top menu and then hit deselect. To clear the guidelines, click on view from the top menu and then hit clear guides. If you were looking for a color wheel with clear boundaries between the primary and the secondary colors, click on the new adjustment layer button and choose curves. Next, change the blend mode of this layer to hard mix. Now here's the cool part. Move the curves line up or down to adjust the color boundaries. There you have it. Make sure you like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.